So hi everybody and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Justin Caffrey and my focus is on human performance, human high performance and the capacity to recover. The neuroscience around recovery and how we can all heal no matter where we are in our own personal journey. Today, we're gonna to be talking about heart rate variability and how heart rate variability and vagal tone really are one in the same and how the heart rate variability monitors are actually measuring the responsiveness of your nervous system, and in particular, your vagus nerve. And how is an indicator of your general health, your cardiovascular health, your personal capacity to recover post-exercise, but actually as an indicator of your general well-being and your likelihood of long-term illness, Heart rate variability is becoming the most important thing that we can be measuring on an ongoing basis. So I've been measuring my HRV now for a couple of months using an Apple Watch. I think it's the Apple Watch 7. I think from model six or maybe five, um, you can get reasonably good, accurate measurements of HRV. So you can use multiple different devices, I'm about to start testing a device, BioStrap, which has had some phenomenal reviews, I'm not being paid for or being supported by any of these, these organizations. I'm gonna test BioStrap because I'm working with a couple of athletes at the moment and we wanna, we wanna identify the best method to bring about good, solid clinical data supporting what's going on in the nervous system and in particular, the capacity to recover. So what is heart rate variability and why should we care? Before I go there, please, if you can, and you like this content, please like and subscribe. Um, it means a whole lot. Put messages below with any questions. I do get to my questions. It means that this can be shared with a community that may not be able to afford to work with me directly. So please do make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. It means a lot to me. If you want to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis, you can reach out to me at justincaffrey.com or through my corporate work at yourbottomline.com. If you want to follow me on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at justin underscore caffrey. But now back to HRV. So the benefits are significant. In particular, HRV is, to keep it simple, it's measuring switch between your sympathetic where you're in fight and flight and your parasympathetic where you're in rest and digest or rest and recover it measures the speed at which your nervous system can operate between these two points and it does that through recording recognizing and understanding the movements and fluctuations of your heart so the most accurate way to measure it is to wear a chest strap but in reality that's not really practical Good news is that some of the most effective HRV um, trackers actually happen during your sleep. And now in the last two or three years, we have some really good wrist-based technology that's capable of tracking it. It also is trackable on some of the tracking rings that you can wear on your fingers. So check it out. I'll list some of the um, potential trackers below and I will publish a blog at some point um, getting a bit more into the neuroscience. But what's key is the numbers. So it's your average HRV that's important. So if I'm moving from normal state like now into a meditation state and I track my HRV, my number will spike at a huge level because when I move into meditation state, my nervous system immediately drifts into the rest and recovery phase and the HRV sensors recognize that. However, I'm also navigating the normal day. So somebody might cut me up in the car and I'm like angry at that person. That's going to trigger, trigger my stress response. So it's going to monitor how fast do I get back to a baseline from that stress state. Now, for those of you who've been um, following my journey in terms of the vagus nerve and vagal tone you'll know that i've had a huge focus on all the things that we need to work on to get that right and that's 
diet, it's supplements, it's nutrients, it's exercise, it's being outside, it's meditation, it's breath work, it's cold water. So many component parts that really fit in to getting your vagal tone up, which in turn is recorded, measured as your heart rate variability. So why is it worth monitoring? If you're monitoring it, you will be able to identify where you are right now in terms of what's going on in your health. So for people who may be recovering from long COVID, it's a really good place to start measuring your recovery to get back to good health. It will then plot your journey, showing you if you are increasing or decreasing in terms of your HRV and your vagal tone as you move forward. Now, as many of you may know, if I go back to how ill I was eight years ago, I had multiple autoimmune diseases. I was suicidal. I was depressed. I was struggling with high levels of anxiety and I had a panic attack. I had no real desire to live, nor did my nervous system and the ganglia in my vagus nerve were dying. So my nervous system was in a steep downward decline and life was coming to an end. When I measure my heart rate variability now, and I look at the mean averages for my age, I'm 47 years of age, but my HRV shows me to be an elite athlete and it shows that I have an age of about 32 to 35 years of age. That's nice. Two things are worth noting. One is I'm not an elite athlete and I am not 32 to 35. So why am I an elite athlete in HRV? I keep myself in really good shape. So while I live my life is quite conditioned in terms of diet, I don't drink alcohol, I probably hit 15 to 17,000 steps a day. I do yoga, I do Pilates, I do push-ups most mornings, I do pull-ups, I do a lot of stretching to open up my body and I meditate consistently every day and have done for eight years. I also make sure that I have a right and clearly balanced diet. So I've got good levels of fruit and veg. My diet is predominantly whole foods, so it's not um, processed foods and I supplement. So I add supplements in that I know are particularly good for my nervous system. And I talk about them in a different video on the channel. I'll put a link up here. So the net result is I've gone in the space of eight years from somebody who was dying, who was written off by multiple physicians in terms of autoimmune diseases, who needed to be medicated to stop me from committing suicide to somebody who has the nervous system and body of uh, somebody who's 12 years my junior and the performance ratings of an elite athlete, but yet I don't even run anymore. I walk, I move, I stretch, I do yoga, I do meditation. So what's going on? It is the consistency in terms of my well-being. This is available to everybody. Like This is the best news ever, right? It's not it's not like it's an exclusive thing that you can't get. Okay, the technology is a bit expensive in order to measure your heart rate variability, but you know what? You should sacrifice some other things in your life if you can in order to get it because you will be able to compete against yourself on a daily basis to understand if you're really doing all the things that are needed in your mind and body to get yourself in the best shape possible. So I'll share more of these videos as we go on. Um, I've got the data now from my Apple Watch for um, the past couple of months. I'm going to use the data from the BioStrap to compare um, the data between the two. Then I'm going to identify which is the better one. And some of my clients who are, who are athletes and others who are high performance in business and leadership will also um, probably opt to go on the BioStrap too so we can go on a journey together and track what's going on. So exciting times ahead. But if you want to improve, you need to raise your vagal tone. You need to understand your vagus nerve. There's a whole bunch of exercises that you can use to stimulate your vagus nerve on my site. But most importantly, this is the key metric in biohacking, in high performance athletes around the world, top basketball teams, NFL teams, English soccer teams, sleep, vagal tone and HRV. We can all do it. We can all get better, healthier, and in better shape. So please do like support this channel. Again, if you want to work with me, reach out to me at justincaffrey.com. See my fees and how I work. You can book a discovery call with me over Zoom. 
95% of my client work is global. I don't even meet these people. We work over Zoom. It's really successful. There's a whole bunch of testimonials from really great um, people who've been through the program with me on there. So reach out, talk to me, put your comments below if you want more information. Stay healthy, stay well, stay focused, and raise that vagal tone.